Listen all you all, this is sabotage. 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 I am on a sabotage mission and now I have a uh, I have a power suit of a weapon, okay? That's uh that completely has changed the game for me, okay? I'm sneaking around. I'm, I'm gonna be careful, I don't wanna, I wanna get caught by this thing here. I'm sneaking around at night, and I have a cutting tool so I can cut into, into, um, I can cut into like these, these panels that will give me access, or, or, let, or let me s sabotage, uh, like turn off the air supply, for example, to, to a whole building. And this, ladies and gentlemen, should be uh, a game changer for these Elite Dangerous Odyssey Alpha gameplay. I've already had a lot of, I've, I've, I started this mission already, and this was a test because then I went to have dinner and I just stopped and, and, and logged out in the middle of the mission. And I appeared again in the beginning here, so I didn't have to go back to the starport, so that was a good thing to, to learn. And I saw another player arrive and start to sneak in and he got caught and all the alarms started going red and all the AI went towards where he was, they were looking for him and that gave me an opening to go around to, to, the, uh, to where I was going but I, then I had to stop for dinner and now I'm back I wasn't streaming that, I was just playing by myself to try out this new suit and look at this lighting at night now this is feeling much better with this suit the, the power doesn't go down as fast as the flight suit I have a cutting tool, uh, I have better shields I believe, so now this, ladies and gentlemen, is changing the, uh, that thing is defending the perimeter, and I, I, I'm in, you can see I'm in low gravity here, world 0.6 Gs, there's some grenades here, I'm gonna be able to pick these up, because now I have a bigger inventory, look at that, I can pick all this stuff up, instead of it just, you know, not being able to pick any of them up, or, or but for in the case of grenades, they're only one at a time, in the case of, uh, of the energy cells, so I'm on this little mission that is to, I have to find a, use a terminal to locate an industrial data port two, in the processing of the industrial production, and then I'm gonna have to upload like a, 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 a spyware or something. Oh, and there's someone in there, you can see like someone in there. All right, and this kind of sneaking around, especially when, when the base that you're sneaking into is is on the dark side of the planet, okay, just like in Dark Side of the Moon, the Pink Floyd album, it is it changes the game. This is exciting to stealth, okay? There's a there's a there's a let, let's let's try to scan this guy from far away. I don't want to I don't want to be seen, okay? So I think I'm too I'm I'm, I'm way too far to, to be scanned by him. It's Loretta McKenzie, okay? I'm just gonna keep my weapon out. Oh, here, here you go. Here's an example. All right. Oh, I heard something. I think I'm hearing something inside this uh, area. But I'm going to give you an example here what I can do now. Okay, if I press 5, which I mapped it. No, is it 4? Or is it 6? I think it's 6. Yeah, look at this. I have an arc cutter. Okay, it's in cutting mode. All right, that's the only mode I know. Then look at that. You, you aim to the the edge. Look how cool this is. Okay, there you go. And you can cut through these panels. Okay, so you really feel like you're. And you can imagine how this must be like with uh, with uh. There you go. What this must be like with a crew of like playing of other people, because. We're go you're gonna be doing this like so you go and you shut up the power of the of the of that building and uh and then y'all go here and i'll and uh and and i'll wait and then uh, when you shut up the power the the ai guards are gonna run over there and then we go over here you know that those sort of co coordinated uh a gameplay that is where these types of games start the building atmosphere is on okay see that loud noise because i stepped on this this is really cool but i'm not gonna shut off the the power for this building i just wanted to demonstrate Okay, just shut off the atmosphere to that building. I don't want to knock people out, you know, and uh, and cause trouble. I want to remain undetected. That's why I'm I'm uh, crouching around, and I want to find this uh, any terminal that I can access to locate 
the industrial data port number two and the processing of the industrial production. So maybe if I, if I can, th that's STO up there. That's uh, probably storage or something. I don't know. That over there. I'm just going to sneak around. And remember, I have the low G, so I could potentially jump pretty far onto the roof of another building if needed. There's more guards. They're patrolling. And each of these guards have names, randomly generated names and stats. And so this type of gameplay plugged into the world of elite dangers that you can do this sort of thing in, in any star system you want you know and it's going to have different types of missions and depending on the if it's an uh, uh, agricultural system or maybe an industrial system you know or maybe you're going to be able to break out people out of prison which would be nice you know that it just opens up so so many cool oh there's a container number five there and luciana golden pollard is a worker just walking about Okay, this, this opens up so many potential gameplay opportunities and this makes me very excited to finally have unlocked this suit and have these tools. Okay, there's a end, okay, IND, I guess that's industrial production. I bet, I'm, I, I would bet that that's doorway over there. I don't have a sniper, but I, what I'm missing right now, I'm missing some way to zoom in, to zoom in further. I don't have that right now, I bet it's an upgrade. Okay, once I have that, then I'll be ev you know, even better. Oh, so what was that? And the, and the scary thing is that I'm an open world, open play here, so a player could sneak behind me. You know, if a player, um, they purposely kept it, this uh, phase of the alpha in one star system to encourage, I think, you to meet other players. I met one person that wasn't very nice today. They killed me before I could to draw my, well, right when I managed to draw my weapon, they, they shot me to death after they had punched me a bunch of times. But, you know, most players now, you're generally nice. You're going to run into uh, to a few, you know, Psychos here and there, but uh, oh, what's this little thing here? That looks a bit of a floaty thing, a little uh, odd. Okay, but uh, they, they want encourage this player interaction to by keeping in one star system, putting all the missions probably in the similar places, and it does it does uh, add an element of tension because I see the way someone is moving or I see a shuttle arrive. Like that's a player. Uh, is he gonna be nice or not? You know, some people like Daisy. That that whole like, uh, you know. Uh, mystery and tension when you first uh, see someone what do i have here what do i have here what do i have where's my here you go the scanner scan mode and profile pony mode i'm gonna do that all right gen stereo okay i want to get over there he's he's going over that direction there's another person over there there's an entrance over there there's another one there so they're they're on their little patrol what's going on here grant oh I f totally forgot. There may be armor later, but uh, I, d I, didn't, I wasn't even looking at my messages. I don't know if I'm going to do armor tonight. Uh, uh, whoa, I forgot. Totally forgot. I just heard something behind me. Let me hide here in, a, in the darkness while I'll, I'll hide under the stairs, okay? I'm going to hide under the stairs while I'm looking at my phone here. And, and I'll draw my weapon in case uh, some, you know, joker comes in. Totally forgot. Jew to elite dangerous odyssey alpha. You guys are going to like this. This, I think. Sorry. Can play tomorrow or weekend. Tomorrow, or really any other day, or Okay, so let's continue this, all right? Arthur wrote me like 45 minutes ago and didn't even see it. Yeah. Elite? Uh, I don't think so. I think I'm going to keep doing... doing uh, I'm going to play Elite. I don't think I'm going to play Arma. But Grant's not playing, so... I'll say could play some Valheim later. Oh, that one? Oh, they got rid of it. Oh, 
Yeah. It probably needs to be washed. I haven't, I haven't washed that for a while. <laughs> no, it's the, maybe ever. It's the, it's not a shirt. It's a vest. Could play some. Sorry, babe. <laughs> Could play some Valheim a bit later. All right. Nice music here. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Covert mission. Okay, okay, let's keep moving, okay? I'm just, uh, it's just like myself watching myself here right, right now, so it's okay, don't, there's not much, there's not, and, and, it's a, and it's a stealth mission, okay, so there's no rush. Very nice sound design, very nice music to be expected in Elite. All right, let's move, let's go. We're moving. Let's go outside the perimeter. Stay away from the lights. Oh, look at the size of these things. These things are where you pick up with a ship. These like little, the, these uh, sort of hexagonal crates. It's nice to see the size of everything when you're out on foot. Totally new to me. I only have this little pistol right now. I don't. I don't have uh, any other weapons. But I do finally have a decent suit and a and a and a panel cutter, so I can cut away panels to sabotage the systems of a building. You know, shut off the power, open doors, that sort of stuff. And that's really cool. Okay, is there a light over there? No zooming in. I don't have any type of scopes or binoculars or anything like that yet. But there is zero point, what is it, top top left there, 0 0.06 gravity. So I probably, with a jump up, I can probably re reach it there. Let's try, here we go. Whew. Almost, almost, okay. Try one more time, I'll try to run this time. And I'm in the moon in the middle of, oh, and my, my power is going down there. You can see the power going down. We'll see if we can get in there and find a, a power source, all right. Right, run, jump. Oh! They couldn't make it. All right, let's just try to go to the back here. I have some spare power cells, I think, but it would be nice to just plug in so I don't use them up. Cancel lean, which is a little disappointing. It would be nice to have some leaning. This. I'm uh, not sure about this direction. Let's, ju let's just keep going this direction. Can I jump from here? Yes, I can. Yes, all right. All right, and that's where we want to get into. The we want to upload like a malware to this industrial production thing. And then I have a second mission in another location later, and that's the big sabotage one. And that one, if I get detected, the mission is failed. This one, I can get detected, and it should be okay. There's a maintenance panel there. That's probably I could disable that turret if I hack into that. Let's just drop in here. And let's see if we can sneak through here. All right. This is a restricted area. Anybody coming? Let's take a look back here. If no one's coming, then I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to cut through that panel. All right. Seems safe. Seems safe. All right. Let's do it. Let's cut through this panel. I wonder if the AI will be smart enough to see it, you know, being c it cut and, uh... Oh, here, I left the little corner, all right. All right, this is cut. Now is a charge port. Now I get the charge tool to, to over and a tra not transfer mode. We want to overload mode, okay. 
Oh, is it transfer mode? Did I open the door? Okay. What am I supposed to do now? Oh shit! Go! Alright, that's not good. I'm gonna go this way. Try to hide. My power is going down too. Hopefully I'll be able to, hopefully AI is designed so they can lose them. Everyone's going to be lo running that direction, so I'm just going to go away to the, to uh, the outside the perimeter here. Let's hide in the darkness over here a little bit. You see all the, all, okay, so red alert, all the, the all the alert the oh shit i hear a it's a ship okay that's that probably a player i think it's generally when shuttles come in that's a player so that's another player he's gonna arrive and it's gonna be red alert everywhere he's gonna be going like what the hell's going on here he's gonna be not knowing what the hell is going on hopefully the the hopefully all the eye will go and attack him it is a video game that you can play uh solo you choose in the beginning if you want to go into an open session or you go solo so you'd never meet another player so that's a cool thing or just of a group of just your friends but i'm in an open session here all right let me let me let me let me get into my adventure here and let's uh oh shit get into game fire go 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 turn on my shield, shield activated. the heck is this thing shit i think it's a <laughs> It's a fucking... Oh, come on! Jesus Christ, okay. Problem. I'm... 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 I'm dead. Shield online. Uh, same functionality as you have with the ships here, you have shields. Let's turn the flashlight off and let's just hope that by going down here, I'm gonna run this way. I don't have na night vision, I think it's an upgrade you buy for your suit. Look at how, how, uh, and how long I'm surviving here with it like this. About the, the Hubble telescope? Or oh, oh, the one that crashed in Puerto Rico? Right. Yeah, that was sad. It crashed. Shit. The new New Yorker. Oh, nice. The new New Yorker? Okay, how the hell am I gonna get away from these things now that I know where I am? Is it even possible? Bad situation here, ladies and gentlemen. I've been seen. These. Shield deactivated. Let's deactivate my shield to save energy. These machines seem to know where I am. No matter what I do. I think I have plenty of power. But I don't know if I can even 
take out these machines with these pea shooters that I have? I, I suspect not, all right. And I have no night vision. So I, I'm forced to turn on the, the light to be able to see where I'm going. Maybe I just have to wait it out for for the aggro of those uh, those machines to subdue. And every star you see in the sky is a place you can fly to. There's a planet, which is the really the, the really amazing thing about this video game. Oh, another shuttle landing, perhaps, or taking off. Is there a way for me to... Maybe if I hacked into something and disabled the... Um, All right. Shit, 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 here it comes. They know exactly where I am, they're not... chance really is to get in a building there but I don't think there's a bullet drop on this but maybe I'm wrong maybe another shuttle coming in that could help me out About grenades. Shield grenade, what's that? Yeah, I'm in bad trouble here. Let's just run this way. Maybe I should play some armor of Arthur. Shit. Opa, Tuca, se você quiser jogar uma arma, eu jogo com você. Quer, quer, quer eu jogar um antistase, eu e você só? Dá mais um... Uma meia horinha assim, eu jogaria se quiser. Ou o Valheim, se você quiser. Um abraço. I think I'm just gonna log out and see if I log back in, they're gone. You know, they forget about you. It's a little cheaty, but you know, it's an alpha. First, let's, uh, let's, uh, get one more energy still. Shield disruptor, shield projector would be good. Uh, anything else I have here? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna cheat now and I'm gonna log out. Let's see how. Let's see if what happens. Exit, exit to main menu. In danger, you must wait before you can quit. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. They didn't let you quit I immediately. They give you like 15 seconds or was it 20 seconds? Let's see how this works. Okay, exit to main menu. And then I'll go back and maybe the the security uh maybe the security uh status, the alerted security status of the system will, will have been uh oh there and there's my suit, huh? Will have been reset. I like this suit, this is pretty cool. 
All right. I'm in here. Extremely low temperature detected. Low gravity detected. Oh, there's some player jumping up and down there. So there's another player already having having trouble with these people. Let's get out of here. Oh, there's another player over there. Bunch of players. It is in red alert. It didn't reset the thing, but uh, but at least I'm not in trouble there. I just started from uh, from from right where where the ships land. Interesting thing about this level design here is that uh, on the roofs of the buildings, there's not a lot of lighting, so it's a good place for someone to hide, and you don't you won't see them. Really scary sort of alien movie like alarm systems alarm sound effects just gonna get my weapon out so i opened that i had opened that that panel but then i couldn't do anything with it i couldn't overload it maybe i did something wrong let's try it again Grenade. Oh shit. <laughs> Got him. Oh shit. Oh my god. Okay, there's loads of guys here. <laughs> the, the AI came right from me. Hey Apollo, I'll beat you. Maybe I'm gonna switch to some armor. Hello? Alright. Alright. Critically injured. I'm gonna try one more mission. I'm gonna try the other one. I'm gonna try the... because I picked two missions. This was supposed to be the easier one of the two. Maybe the other one will be really crazy, but let's... Uh, let's try again. Confirm and redeploy. It costs two grand to... to what, what happens if you have no money? That Do you basically then lose everything? Your character, everything? That would be an interesting choice. I mean, it's not too much, but if you're not careful. All right. All right, so if I look at my... Uh, if I look at my transactions tab... Here you go. I f oh, I failed both of them. Oh, because I was detected here, so that makes me fail the other one as well. I guess that's the case, right? That's too bad. I hope I still have my suit. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, I have my Maverick suit. That's good. You can probably see it, actually. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there I am. Look at that. That's more like it. Let's take a screenshot to send uh, to Kerr or somewhere. Put it in the Discord. Now, to go downstairs, you have to go down here. Screenshot here. Mm -hmm. 
This is gonna be pretty cool taking screenshots in this game like uh Cool music, huh? I don't know who this is, but it's pretty cool. All right. Sounds like it almost sounds like uh, what's that guy that uh, the Ryan likes? Maybe the guy that has a really gravelly voice. Either Tom Waits or like else. Nick Cave or something like that. If I don't have it. It's not worth having. Always a good idea to stock up. E breach, no, no, not available. Come back when you're ready. All right, let's try one or more of these sa covert sabotage missions. All right. I'm just gonna go over here. Let's try uh, operations. Disable power. There you go. Covert infiltration breached the Lu Hu Astrophys Laboratory network. Sounds like a pretty tough one. Threat level zero. I think that's a bug, but to hell with it. Travel there, upload the provided data, turn to mission terminal. This covert assignment country be nullified assignment. Alarms are raised. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Let's let's try uh, this thing. Travel to Gor Genetics Enterprise. Disengage. Remove the power regulator. Return the power regulator to the terminal. Um, I'm a little confused about this. Which terminal? Here or over there? Sabotage. Here you go. I'm titled this sabotage. So oh, here's another one. Chun Manufacturing Base. Let's try this one. This sounds fun. Yeah, I've got some Nick Cave going on here in the background. I think that's what it sounds like, at least. Maybe Frontier just hired a bunch oh, of musicians so I can do a song color. like, you know, Our this type of song, like Nick Cave or something, and uh, maybe some of there's unknown bands, I don't know. Let me make sure there's no other mission. Uh, they, they did a change, I think, with in the, la in the latest Hotfix, Hotfix 2, they made a change, like these things, these yellow... You can zoom out and it turns a little yellow. Maybe that's just a, a little glitch. Looks a little more bold, the interface. Okay, I think it's this one. Zoom in. And here you go, Chun Manufacturing Base. I think I've been there already. Little book. Now we go here to the Interstellar Transport Shuttle. Have to wait till the shuttle's ready. Some nice uh, slide uh, guitar over there. Sounds like a slide guitar, 12 string guitar. And uh, what are, what's it called? Uh, the frame rate got pretty bad all of a sudden know what's going on well what's going on is an alpha they probably have to optimize this stuff hopefully the next loading screen when we take off of the ship it'll stabilize all right now I'm gonna sit back and uh, and wait welcome aboard take yourself comfortable
Let's try the Aberdeen thanks to how's that sound? I have a no border test here tonight. I'm just trying to start to minimize the visual design of these uh, stream elements here. I think maybe say thanks will be better, right? Would like to thank. This happens to hear your thanks. Happening thanks, no. Live. Thanks to. That's alright. Alright, let's try that. I live here. It's a Brazilian slang for a for a stream. to go here. Because that cat's caught. This whole frustration stuff, this has to be done at friends. I'm gonna have to try to convince Grant and Arthur to get elite. The thing is, you know, it's a learning curve to, to fly the spaceships and stuff, but FPS, you know, more people are used to FPSs. You don't need controls. I mean, you don't need controls to fly the ships in elite. You can play really well with mouse and keyboard. But it is a, a different uh, thing. Uh, flying a ship that most people are not as used to as uh, you know use it running around of a first person shooter so maybe this uh, first person shooter mechanic will be another gateway into the into the elite universe for more people Nice strobe lights and port and starboard lights on the ships. Okay, I'm gonna play some Valheim with Arthur a little later. I don't know if I can host uh, Valheim locally on my computer because I've tried it and people haven't been able to see it, so I don't know, we'll see. All 
right, Shun Manufacturing Base approaching. I can move around the ship here or, or not? No, I can't move around the ship, you just stick around here. Cockpit of this adder. Opa, 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 ok, tô fazendo mais uma missão aqui no Elite e daí eu vou te avisar quando eu terminar, tá? Acho que você vai ter que, acho que vou ter que, que comprar esse jogo pra você também, que é quando, quando sair o Odyssey, é, quando lançar, isso aqui vai ser um gateway pro universo de Elite, um gateway que, a, que passa atra, através de um first person shooter game mode, que vai ser muito legal, tá sendo muito legal, cara. Falou, um abração, te, eu te aviso, pode demorar um pouquinho, mas eu te mando uma mensagem, ok? Sem pressa daqui, se, se for muito tarde para você, a gente vai ver depois de amanhã, mas quando eu terminar assim eu te aviso, um abração. Ours have said Clara is playing right now, so... Apex 629 requesting docking. Just coming into land now. Copy that. All right, coming into land. Let us see if uh, if I'll be able to complete this uh, sabotage mission in this alpha version of Elite Dangerous Odyssey. I'm gonna crouch down. I'm gonna get away from this uh, landing port. Okay, that's to be expected. Here's the command post. Let's go straight to the command post. All right, I have to sabotage the synthesis automation unit zero in the processing of the industrial production, okay? So I'm gonna have to find this thing. To find it, I probably need to, oh, is that my, is that my shuttle? Is that a, 
Is there an escort ship flying around? Or is it a different shuttle of a different... If it's a different shuttle, it might be a player, another player coming in. And that could be possibly problematic. So let's uh, move out of a way... Oh, shit. And I just saw a light. Is it glitching through the wall here? Shit, it is another shuttle. Let's just move. I'm gonna get my weapon out. Did it land? It did. Okay, it's gonna be another player. I'm just gonna stay. I'm gonna wait right here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a little bit. Okay. So if that's another player, and I get shot by another player again, I'm gonna get upset. All right. This here has PWR, and that's power probably. So there's a power plant. Maybe you can get in there and find a and find one of these terminals in order to locate the place we have to sabotage. I think is to break into these places is pretty tough. Okay, you have you have like uh, patrolling enemies. You have those big like patrolling robots. And you have other players to contend with because I'm playing an open play here. Maybe it was a mistake. Maybe I should have gone to solo. But it definitely makes it more exciting. Okay. It's more like Daisy. Alright, there's a guard. Oh dear. Oh man, and here's a sentry. It looks a little bit uh, glitchy, the sentry. And it's like a frozen moon base type thing. Okay, that's the command here. Let's try to get into the command center. Let's just let's just jump in there. I'm just gonna go back to where I was. And if that player shows up, if he has a weapon out and he points it at me, I'm I'm gonna fire because uh, the last time that I tried to be nice, it didn't go well for me, and I don't want to have come all this way for it to go badly for me once again. All right. Oh, I hear someone. Oh, player, 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 player. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, friendly, okay. He didn't shoot. All right, let's go together. Let's go together. All right. Cool. All right, cool. That's good. I, I like to, to meet people there and nice. I wish there was an easy way to, to, to for us to chat. Let me let me let me try let me let me try to, to to chat with him. Hold on, Commander Diabetor. Okay. Oh, he's he's jumping all the way up there. Holy shit! Okay. Uh, let me let me jump after him. Here we go. Oh, I have a double jump. All right. All right, easy. All right, this is cool. He's, he got all the way up here. Okay, let me let me try to start a chat with this guy. Let's see uh, where's chats over here. Comms. Okay, let's see. Oh, I got a promotion. Commander. Okay, where is he? Local. Is this him? No, it's Pleiades. Is this someone else? I think it's this guy. Diabet. Okay, let's try to get uh, send voice comm requests and send friend requests. Okay. Let's see if he goes on voice. Maybe we can tr talk. Uh, All right, he's saying like to stay down, I guess. I'm staying down. He's not answering the voice call. But he probably doesn't have voice. Uh. I wish there was an easy key. I thought it was T or, or enter. Or I'm just gonna cancel the, the voice comms request, okay. Uh, cancel voice comms request. Let's try to direct message. Um, all right, select the type message. What is your mission? Where did he go? And I don't even know where he went. All right. Uh, well, he was friendly. That's good. So I'm just gonna. Oh, there he is. He's he's hiding under there. Look. Oh, 
<laughs> and there's a guy coming. Where is he? Tr he's trying to go in there, maybe? Alright, let's just stay up here for a second and help him out. And keep a lookout. There's Doris Stark as a scout. She has her shields off. See the little green bar is the is the normal health, and and uh, and if they turn the shields on, then then you have the blue bars. It's like the ships in the lead. Okay, he's he's going around him. Oh no, yep, he's going around him. All right, let's go too. Let's go. So big jump, big jump. Oh 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 oh. How did he get in there? I couldn't get in there. How the hell did... Oh, it's, maintenance, it's level 1. Maybe he has level 1 and I'm level 0 so I couldn't go in. Oh, hopefully he opens it again so I can get in. Oh, and that sounds like a Sidewinder coming in. That's another shuttlecraft. It's another player coming in. Come on, dude. Come open this airlock for me. He probably has level 1 access and I don't. Okay, let's just try to cut through the thing. Here we go. Hopefully this won't set off the alarms. Oh shit, oh shit. He saw me. I'm gonna go. Let's try to hide in the dark here. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm down. This is so tough. We need a team of people here. Or at least two people that, that have voice communication because I don't know what's going on and and even though I have this power suit now and it, and it is better, it's uh, it's still really tough. You get critically injured. I have almost no money yet because I managed to complete one mission, which was amazing, and I'm given enough power to get this suit. And uh, I got no cargo losses. That's all right. Total to pay oh, only two fifty. That's all right. I have eight thousand, so I can pay that for my financial support. You know, it's better here. It's better health insurance in Elite than in the United States. Um, the thing is, is when you die, this is this is it's not like a you know PUBG that you just go straight back into a mission. You get sent back, and so it's uh, I'm all the way back now in Conscal Pino. Ooh. I'm in penal colony. This is new. So I got sent to a penal colony. This is new. That is not good. Well, oh, still pretty cozy. There's like a bar down there. There's uh... It'd be nice for this mission is to break people out of the penal colonies. The Pioneer Supplies, Vista Genomics. Let's go check out the bar real quick and... Uh... Listen to some rock and roll here. Yeah, look at that. Or what time is it? I got more ammo than morals. Can I do anything with the genomics? I don't think I can, right? Because, uh. Louise Major. I don't have any any data. I think that's going to be in phase two of the of the alpha. They have, there's four phases. Phase one, just these missions I'm doing now. Phase two, I think you're going to be able to get your ship fly around a little bit and land wherever you're wanting. Step out of it. Phase three, uh, it's going to open up to about 20 star systems, so you can do like first footfall exploration type stuff. Should I try support mission. Restore, prepare, landing for operation. This this could be a, a little more doable. Turn the power on power, bold your military bastion. What's it? Biological consulting. Is there like a some sort of a astronomical place I could do it? Analytics, Kajraval, Krellen Command. Hydroponics, that sounds nice. Let's go to a hydropon let's throw power to a hydroponics estate. Okay. Okay, so I have a mission, and then the gameplay loop in this alpha right now is like, in this alpha phase one is like this. You take the mission, you go upstairs, then you come here, and you can't use a ship yet in this phase one of the alpha. You have to book a local shuttle. 
And then here we're, see we're, we're, we're limited to this system here. There's a trinary star system. There's this star, or these two are, stars are orbiting each other, and this star is orbiting those two orbiting stars. You can switch to aura review to see how that works. All right, so these two stars, the B is orbiting A there, and the C is all the way out here. Okay, thank, okay, there's two missions. Did I not fail that other mission? Your active missions. Oh, okay, this one is here. That's good to know. Let's switch back to a uh, map view. All right. There's the hydroponics. I click and hold. I've, I've booked my shuttle. And this mountain, this gigantinormous mountain of data that this game simulates based on a real Milky Way galaxy of something like uh, 400 billion stars or something. Every single one of the stars that we know about is available in the game pretty much using real star charts but it's a fictional game obviously it's set about a thousand years in the future so the other ones is filled up with procedural generation which is one of my favorite things about computer again favorite computer game techniques to make things uh, random but based on uh, you know a seed of real world data so it's randomly generated but if you go to the same place twice it'll be the same in in that seed okay a little bit like valheim too all right let's jump in and let's see how long it's going to take us to get to this uh, hydroponics estate where we have to restore power. Take a seat, pick up. Give you an outside view of this takeoff. I'm not flying. I'm just uh, riding. Signal's lost because we're going through something. And off we go. Take off from this penal colony here. And I'm excited to when we can get our ships, we'll be able to fly our own ships and go land anywhere we want. And go explore like random stuff that we can find in the planet's surface. This was a first person shooter with stealth mechanics, with team play mechanics. Attached into the elite dangerous Gigantonormals world. Very exciting. I am getting more and more excited as I uh, as I play more of this. A little bit loud right now. I'll adjust for that. You can only land on moons at this point. You can't land on any. Uh, there's no planets of uh, very thin atmospheres, but not more than that. My real dream is one day have uh, be able to land on earth-like worlds with atmosphere with clouds with trees all that good stuff and I'm just giving you an outside view here driving with the drone you can see our departure from this moon where we were in a penal colony I guess in this Adder, Sorgon Peterson Adder shuttlecraft, which is the only mode of transportation available right now in the phase one of the Elite Dangerous Alpha. Okay, we'll go back into the cockpit. Oh man, hydroponics is 149,000 light seconds away. This means it is going to be a little while. And this means, uh, I might have to play a little bit of music. But I'm not really gonna play music now, but well, not, not live music because I'm just reading back here. It's a new New Yorker that came in. It's not gonna be 6.5 days to get there, thankfully, like because this is super cruise. As we get away from the gravitational pockets, which are modeled, you know, the gravitational pockets, you're gonna hear the engine, the momentum of the super uh, drive, the, the, the uh, super cruise drive engaging and as we get away from the gravitational pockets of, of these celestial bodies we're gonna speed up it's gonna go down to hours down to eight hours seven hours so it's gonna be a few minutes probably and I think one thing I'm gonna do when the alpha is done and when it's released I'm gonna pick a system and I'm gonna do a lot of missions there and just get really get to know that system because it's so it's almost like so much 
the size of this universe. All right, here I'll show it to you. Press M. The the alpha is limited to this system here. Okay, Adityan. All right, this system over here. All right, you can see the ancestor information. After being betrayed by his former allies, the Tithi's independent crew managed to escape and search for a new system to call home. Now established in Adityan, the crew will do whatever is necessary to achieve its goals. Reports suggest this includes reaching agreements with the local criminal cartels, strengthening its influence through the questionable activities or mercenary work. Okay, there's 2.7 billion population, civil unrest as the state of the political state. The government is a confederacy and the economies are industrial and refinery. Okay, so all this stuff here. All right, you can put map mode. Right now it's unrealistic, but you could go allegiance and there's this thing called power play, you know, the there's basically four main four three main factions, all right, the Federation, the Empire and the Alliance. I'm generally an elite a part of the Alliance. It's a group of a of uh, independent systems. And then it can be part of an independent system that it's not associated with anyone, okay? Civilization, human, guardian, stargoids. These are there's some aliens in this game as well. You can take a look around. You can filter by government, so you can see all the different types of governments, feudal, dictatorship, theocracy, patronage, conference, a prison colony. I think this is where I maybe, no, I don't think, I was in a prison place, not in a, I, I was in a, in a, in a, not in a prison colony system, but I, I don't think so, at least, you know. There's also communist you saw there. Also by economy, all this stuff, high techs is usually where you're going to find good stuff for your ships. Uh, a state, you know, all these different states of war, retreat, lockdown, boom, expansion is famine. Okay, I think there's blight. There you go. There's outbreak, you know, we might have coronavirus out there too. Terrorist attack, public holiday, this, all this wonderful. This is called a BGS, the background simulation of elite dangerous that uh, has uh, different types of stars. Okay, if you're looking for a star that you want to be able to refuel, if you have a fuel scope in a ship when you can fly your own ship. You want to remember the uh, the acronym KGB FOAM, F-O-A-M. Those are the types of stars that you can refuel at. Realistic mode, okay. You can see the actual, what the star looks like. And look at this, okay, when you zoom out, okay. All right, I'm going to zoom out. All right, I'm zooming out. Each one of these stars that we're looking at, we can fly to. And if you're the first person to arrive there, and then after you scan it and you can scan the the place is now going to be able to get out of your ship and step. You're the first person to step in an astronomical body. And if after you the first person to scan a system and you get back, your name goes on that system. So I have a few systems, uh, quite a few that I'm, I'm the first, not loads, but I have a couple of Earth-like worlds I'm particularly pr proud of. But look at this. I zoom out. I zoom out. Okay, this is the solar system here. You can find Sol in here, okay? I don't know where the search is in this uh, because this is a new interface. There was a search thing Compare trade tools, rather display options. Uh, I'm not sure where the search went. A copy system name, view system map. No, this is this is like. Uh, oh, here you go. It's right in the middle on the top, idiot. Okay, so if I go to Sol, for example, right? Here's the Sol system. All right, and it's over here. This is, and if I go in there and I go to system map. Oh wait. All right. If I go to Sol, maybe maybe it's the alpha, so I can't see the the Sol system map right now. But uh, you'll be able to see it uh, in the regular lead. You can. This is the alpha for Odyssey, which is the expansion that lets you step out of your ship for the first time ever in this series and then step physically control your character. Okay, system map uh, is going to show me Sol now. Yep, there he goes. Loading system data. Right here is our beautiful Earth, you know, you got Venus, you got Mercury, there's Mars over here. You can notice that it's been terraformed about a thousand years in the future. You know, Mars has been terraformed and there's all these little details. When you hover over it, the sound changes if it's an Earth-like, you know, if it's more like Venus, like a sort of a hellscape. It's like this acidic sort of sound and if a Mercury, it's more like, you know, a different type of hellscape and it's metallic. You can hear this metallic kind of sound. All these little details. Here's the asteroid belt, okay. Cooper belt, I think, uh, Jupiter, we got Saturn, you got a bunch of orbiting bodies too, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, Charon, you know, a bunch of different stuff that has been discovered. So it's based on the real world, this video game. Okay, there's a beautiful soul. Hey! Hey, Oh, don't hurt that cat. Pest. Pest. Who do I say is pest? 
Shit. Yeah, a bit of a pest today, this cat, huh? See his sister. And, um, okay, so, so I was just showing you Saul, but look at that. I, I zoom all the way back, so Saul is around there. This is the human bubble. But then look at this. This is a Milky Way galaxy, okay? 400 billion stars, I think, in the past seven, eight years. Uh, maybe people have visited maybe 0.1% of it or something. I don't know what the latest statistic is. But it's a lot of stars, okay? And for you to get a, an idea of it, as soon as you start moving down, okay, there's, there's a nebula. Okay, see, if you're f high up above the galactic plane, all right, there's not much up here. But as soon as you start getting down into the galactic plane, all right, it's this big spiraling ball of giant dust, probably around this big Sagittarius A. Uh, like, okay, see, the stars start appearing. If I click on the star, okay, I could set a route to get here. It's going to take me a long time, okay? One of my fo followers, a friend, uh, and friend now the on the stream Shiba, he's been around this he, he's traveled so much in this he's been Beagle Point, the furthest place from the human inhabited bubble. But look at this, okay, so that now we're far away in the spire in the in the spiral one of these spiral arms, okay. You can there's a name of the sectors here. I don't know if it's not showing because of probably uh some sort of uh some sort of uh uh Visited stars, all this stuff, display options, maybe show constellations. Uh, let, let's let's make sure that everything is appearing here. So, all right. But uh, usually it would show you the name of the sector. But look at this. As soon as I, okay, I zoom in here. Okay, and now let's start. Uh, let's start getting closer to the galactic plane, and let's start moving to the center of the galaxy. And you're gonna see how many stars are gonna start appearing here. If we to give you an idea of how many stars there are in one galaxy, okay, and there's billions of galaxies, okay. All right, it's starting to get a little dense here. All right, look at this. Now we're getting close to the galactic. Look at that. Let's go to the galactic center. Let's go in here and look at that, okay. <laughs> there are a lot of stars in our galaxy. Our sun is one of them. Look at this. This is a piece of art. The the information, the user interface design, the information design of this video game to display all these stars in the database. And each one of them you can visit is just amazing. Okay. And when you click on something, it moves to it and it goes a little like a piano key get, gets pressed. Really cool, huh? I'll show you something that I, I, I have. Okay, this is the alpha, so it's not going to be in here. Okay, this is a this is a different uh, snapshot of the database view. A brand new commander, so my commander is not going to have all the stuff I have bookmark here. But you see, look at the amount of stars. It's just amazing. And we're like over here. And with this new thing that you can get out of your ship, you're going to be able to travel these places and get out of your ship. And hopefully Elite Frontier Developments is adding a bunch of stuff for us to find. Randomly generated and normal stuff. And All right. So that's a little overview of the Elite Dangerous World. All right. That took plenty of time. We're about 30, looks like about 30 seconds away from Kukemane Hydroponics Estate. Depending on the size of the system, the system might be really small. Generally for a home system where you want to do a lot of missions, you want to find one with a couple of stars that are close to each other, or one star, so you don't have to spend this long traveling to places. But this is a system we've been giving in this beta, in this alpha, of this Odyssey expansion that lets you step out of the ship and uh, it takes a while. So uh, I thought I'd give you a little tour whoever's out there watching because I see someone's out there watching thanks for watching and I'm gonna try this mission and uh, failure or success I am going to after the end of this mission whether I fail or I succeed I am going to uh, take a little break and maybe switch over to Valheim with my friend Arthur give you an outside view here of this Sorgan Peterson Adder shuttlecraft approaching this star, this orbiting body around this star. I think it's the C star of this system. It's Adebayan C or whatever it's called. 
Oh, here we go. Beautiful moment here. Coming in from the dark side of the planet, seeing the sun. The sun of this part of the system shining on this moon, this icy moon that we're going to, I think it's an icy moon we're going to land on. Got some HDR going on there. And they emphasized on the alpha notes that the, the, pr the procedural generation and, and the imagery of these planets is work in progress right now. It's, it's not looking like it will in the end. Usually looks better than this, but they're working on this stuff right now. I think it's gonna probably take a, like a month or two. This alpha, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't know what the schedule is, but I do know that they want to release this in spring. So not that long. You know, about three months to two, three months left in spring. Here in the northern hemisphere. And there's a full character creator. You can make your character look the way you want to. So that I can see this is going to be a lot of. Whoa, what's going on with the sun? Do you see that? It's like almost like a super. It's going supernova, the sun. Okay, sorry about that. That was loud. Well, it's the, it's the shuttlecraft pilot here not warning me that we're going into glide. Very cool. Very cool uh, atmosphere. It's a little pinkish. And we're going to have, uh, again, the blue Danube of Strauss accompanying us on this landing. Oh, here we are. Looks like a fairly small base, but it's just our height. Sounds like a bit like a, you know, a, a, a Toyota Subaru with a, with a bad uh, some engine starting to fail. Actually, that probably wouldn't happen with a Subaru. Or maybe it would. Did Ryan have problems with his Subaru he was talking about? I think he did, right? All right, here we are. Hope to see you again soon. All righty then. Okay, disembarked. There's different voices. There's different accents. There's different object procedurally generated names. And there goes the shuttle. And here we are. Unsafe temperatures. Pretty hot here, I guess. Thankfully, I have my pretty nice, uh, brand new flight suit. So um, let's let's take let's take a couple of screenshots here. I want to take a screenshot before. Uh, it's 390 degrees Kelvin. It's hot as hell. Okay. Okay. This the gravity here is 0 0.5 g, so it's about half on Earth. So I can't do those crazy jumps into the roof of the stuff, but I can still do some jumps. Let's do it. Let's do a. Let's do a screenshot right here. Uh, let's see. I want. I kind of. Oh, I kind of want to take take uh, my mask. Uh, turn on a light in my mask so that I. Let's try it over here. Let's try it like that. Okay. I remove all that and uh, let's take a screenshot. I don't think this this is not on Steam. I didn't get this game on Steam. We'll do a quick screenshot here, right there. I think I hear another player coming as well. And I'm going to take one of my phone to, to send this to Kerr to, to get him to come play with me. It's pretty cool. All right. All right, enough of that. I think another player is arriving. Yep, there's another player arriving. 
Okay, uh, insert and engage the power regulator into regular housing in the power plant of the power center. There's the power plant, so let's just jump in there. Let's open this thing up with a cutter. Let's hope that this, whoever this player is not going to shoot us in the back here. Get my weapon out just in case. Alright, so I opened this, but what do I do with this? Charge port offline. Nice, okay. So I, ch I had to charge it, and it managed to open. Here's the regulator, let's place it. I'm gonna p confirm our to our okay, place. Why can't I place it? Oh, here you go. There you go. Regulator is placed. What do I do now? Insert and engage the power. Okay, so I insert it. Do I how, where do I engage? Is it this thing here? Looks like it would be that button. Uh, maybe in the front. Maybe in this co command console here. Oh, here you go. Engage power regulator. I'm gonna keep an eye on that door because if a player comes in there, oh look at that, that's cool. Alright, one of us. I got it, I got the power regulator in there, babe. Mission updated, reactivation, turn on power at Kukuman Hydroponic Estate, fantastic, now just leave the area. This may mean that there's some uh, things that are gonna shoot me outside now because power is enabled, you know, there is all this stuff that goes on here. While I'm in, while I'm in here, I'm gonna charge my power shoot. Okay. okay, my suit's recharged. And let's take a look at what else is in here. All right. Set them on alarms. Uh, disable alarms. Okay. Disable scans. All right, and that will help me get out of here without a problem. I hope. Very cool. Oh, let's pick a couple of some med kits. That's nice. I'm gonna keep an eye out because I saw there was a potential player out there. Look at this awesome place here. Let's take a quick look around. There's a hydroponics research. You know, I can grow plants over here. Let's do a, sh a screenshot here saying, you know, it's an IPPC uh, International Plant Protection Convention thing to send to to send to occur. One quick screenshot, and then we're off. And we'll play some Valheim. Look at these wastes over here. Wow. I can I can see it from the outside view too. So we can do a little bit of a. Ooh, what is that thing? Oh my God! Look at the size of that thing. All right, let's go this way. I don't want to that thing to start shooting at me. So there is third person view, but it's not something you can fight in. You can just, it's basically a photo mode. You can just uh, see yourself. You can't really fight from this mode, all right? Just kind of, I, I, I kind of like fighting in third person, third person mode. But I don't know if that's going to be something they will add eventually. Probably not. Very cool power suit there. It, it really changes the game to have g completed a mission that, that let me uh, that let me have enough money to get this suit. Then you get the cutter thing. You can take more hits. Not that many more, but you know you can carry more stuff in your inventory. All right, I'm here where the shuttle is going to land. So right now I'm going to uh, switch back to first person mode. I'm going to hide here quickly behind this here. Make sure no one uh, is calling for me. And I'm going to call the apex shuttle local booking thank you very much where do you want to go today with the largest shuttle fleet in the core system apex intercept
Let's just go anywhere. Let's go. Uh, let's go to a different station. Let's go to one of these. Fullerton Station. Haven't been to one of these small ones yet. Let's go here. Alright, so request sent. It should be here any second. Warning. High temperature detected. Here's a wonderful music in Elite. What Elite is known for. Wonderful sound, sound design. I think I heard a shuttle arriving. I'm taking another screenshot here while I'm here. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's this one of these things. Okay, get away. Where's the shuttle? There it comes. All right. Quickly, I don't want to get machine gunned by that minigun under that floating drone thing. Let's go. It's a sentry skimmer. All right. My pilot is Talula Butler. All right, let's go Talula. All right, I'm boarding. And we're off. Awesome. Yes, 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 yes. Another mission complete, babe. With this new suit. With this new suit, I am enjoying this so much more. <laughs> I have wanted status? No, that's... It's just a bunch, you know, when it's powering up to go to Super Cruise, it, a, it starts going crazy, the, the, the status display of the... of the ship there on the heads-up display. And we're off! Oh, pretty loud. I apologize for that. Let me turn it down a little bit. Yeah, the engine sounds when you're in the back of the ship gets really quite loud. And you see all those nebulas out there? Those are also modeled on nebulas that exist in the real world. It's in the galactic plane over there, the Milky Way galaxy. Depending on the lighting, you can see this stuff. There's a bunch of nebulas, there's no... Whoa, what happened there? I was... Press the button maybe? I switched it around there. Practicing my cin cinematographic skills here. Giving you a view of the underside of this Adder shuttlecraft as we leave. This orbiting moon orbiting the third star of this initial Elite Dangerous Alpha system. A six, I think that was mission success there, but I maybe not. Maybe I have to go back to a terminal where I was given the mission and say I completed the mission. Or maybe I can go to any terminal, I'm not sure. So I'm just heading to this other little space station, which I haven't visited yet. I've only visited the big ones. And uh, once I get there, I'm going to go to a mission terminal and see if I can complete the mission from there. If it doesn't let me and it wants me to go to the other place, then I'll, I'll book a flight there and complete it from there. All right. And look at that, look at the distances. It's, that's where we were and we're gone. And every and the cool thing about this compared to, you know, the other fictional games as, as I keep talking about, like Star Citizen and stuff, they're awesome endeavors as well and I hope they do well. But the cool thing about basing the universe of this video game on our real universe is that, and the way the game is modeled, the, 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 each of these stars here, you see, this is called a skybox, okay? Each one of these stars, you can say, I want to fly there and it's modeled in the game, it's in the galaxy map, you can fly there. It's kind of like in Star Trek when Kirk in the end of one of the Star Treks is like, oh, just uh, where should we go, you know, the captain, and he's like, oh, just go to the second star from to the right there, you know. And you can do this in this game. Okay, it's pretty far where we're going, alright. In this video game, this is a simulation, it's, a, it's an educational video game. You could go to any star in our galaxy orbiting a giant black hole called Sagittarius A, Nova Sagittarius, any of these stars, anywhere you want to go. 
you can go to. Let's say we wanted to go to Xiao Prow XPR C7 539er. We could fly there. All right, it's probably pretty far. Yep, 24,958 light years. I have some pretty far jumping ships in my with my main elite dangerous commander, not in the Alpha. Commander Griffey. But still take a while. All right, let me take a look at my uh, transaction tab on the left side here. And apparently this game is amazing in 3D. I, I can confirm that because I've tried in 3D once at my friend's uh, Mojo's house. All right. All right, power has been restored to the Kukemane hydroponics estate. Return to... Oh, I have to return there. Okay, return to Konskak Penal Colony in the Tian system. Complete a contract at the terminal. So I have to return to this Penal Colony. This gives me a, a way... This gives me a reason to try to, to find where... Oh, I did find where the search is. Okay, so Konskak. Okay. So let's open the galaxy map. And I'm going to go... Konskak. Was that, was that it? Here you go. There's several of them. And oftentimes the names of things in this uh, are are named after, you know, scientists, uh, personalities. Uh. Consac Colony? Is this... No, this is an Ariete. Maybe I... Let's, let's take another... Let's take another look. Konskak. The K's in the end and a C in the middle. Konskak. Okay, weird name. Let's try again. K's in the end, a C in the middle. Konskak. Huh. Well, let's just look uh, maybe in the system map. Can I do a search in the system map? I think it was here, right? Maybe it was here. Let's see. Let's see what what uh, what orbiting body it's in. Let's see that. A DTN system. Contact Penal Colony DTN system. How do I find it? Okay, open galaxy map. Is it gonna center it on it? No, it doesn't center it on it, just center on the system. Alright. Apex shuttle. Stored ships. Current system, destination, drop-off point, Fullerton station. That's where, I, where I'm going to. It's not the right place to complete the mission. So I am going to want to complete, to go to the right place to complete the mission. But, um... Let's try this one. Uh, that's someone uh, somewhere else completely, okay. There's no in uh from what I from what I can see there's no in system search, which is uh odd emission. There's only galaxy wide, but it's not finding this penal colony. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just uh zoom in and see if I can find it. No drop point, drop points in that body. This one does. Biochemical, synthetics, Castro manufacturing. Okay, it's not here. Okay, so the ones that has drop off points are those other ones. Maybe it was down here somewhere? There must be an easier way to find this place, okay, instead of like zooming into every single place. I would th I would think that they have like an icon saying this is where you got your mission from, you know. But this is where I this is where this is where the mission goal was, alright. Oh no, here it is. Never mind, there it is. Alright. I'm just being a uh, fool. Okay. So we're flying over here. We'll visit the station, take a look around, and then we'll fly over there. Okay. Let's see how long we have to go. Quite a while. 
I don't think I can cancel my book. Can I can't ask him to divert right now? I don't think so, right? I think that would be a nice addition. Ask. Pay the offer to pay the pilot more to divert mid-flight. That would be a nice addition. Because if I could, I would maybe even divert now, complete the mission, and then go visit that thing or go play some Valheim. I'll bookmark just just so that I uh, share a squadron, add to favorites, okay. Focus. All right, I'm going to hydrate. Hydrate, ladies and gentlemen. Hydrating, ladies and gentlemen. Is that a term that started with streaming? I don't think so. It's probably me. It's probably like a runner term. Hydrate, you know, drink some more military term, maybe uh, instead of you know doctors, a combat m lifesaver. And instead of kill, it's like neutralize, you know. that in it's a G it's a key of G this song G minor but I have a bunch of filters turned on here in this mic now which it's not, they're not gonna make, I'm not gonna pick up the stuff I'm doing on the guitar. But frankly, one of the things I'm most excited about this video, this Odyssey expansion so far, is the music, I, I, I keep saying this, but it's true, is the music in the bar, okay? The bars that you can go to, the music is really good. I can jam, there, there, and, it, and, and it's different from what I can see. I've only visited two or three places that have bars, but they had different music. Some were like more heavy metal and hard rock. Some of them were like blues and a little bit of jazz and like a harmonicas and, and like old Robert Johnson sounding stuff almost. Others were a little bit more like Nick Cave, you know, Tom Waits, uh, more gravelly and a little bit with, and, and lyrics, you know, someone singing. And with the blues stuff and the rock, I could jam along. I, just, I was just stood there at the bar and I was jamming to, to the songs they were playing. And I hope that they expand this and they add like a load of music to, to this game, a lot of original music and, and the ability for you to put your own MP3s there, you know, because or you can just turn the music off and play your own stuff. But uh, but it's so well done the sound design. I'm so excited about uh, having a whole other cornucopia, a plethora of of sounds to listen, because the sound of design of this video game is masterful. Positional audio. You know, all the different colors, the different uh, synthesizer stuff they have going on, the little details of the when you press buttons, uh, the little details when you're of your sensors. You can, you can barely hear sometimes, but there's this little 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 sound of a pulsating radar when your ship, you go flight assist off. Can't do this now because I'm not piloting. I've got my, my taxi driver here piloting for me. But there's all these little nuances, and there's there's blog posts about this. If you read, if you go and look up uh, Elite Dangerous Sound Design, they have interviews, they have Ask Me Anythings in the in the Reddit uh, with the sound designers, and the amount of work and the amount of uh, virtuosity that has gone into the sound design of this video game is is uh, quite unmatched. There's not that many video games that they put this much elf effort in the audio design. And I think it's a huge part of why it's so successful. It's, I mean, it's not the only part. It's part of the gestalt, though. It, it is, uh, it's like, you know, Star Wars without the music, you know, it's, it's something else, you know. It's not Star Wars, then. 
those wonderful orbiting bodies around that sun there, just like our solar system. Our solar system is something like this, seen from a distance, great distance. It's something similar to that. You can see all the orbit lines if you aim straight at, straight at it from an outside view. I don't know if this was always there or if it's a new addition here in uh, the Odyssey Alpha as well. And here we are, approaching Fullerton Station. This will be my first time visiting one of the smaller stations in the Odyssey Alpha. Let's see if there's been uh, updates, let's see if there's a bar there, let's see what it looks like. We're going to be dropping from Super Cruise, which is a hyperluminal speed. Okay, that's how we can travel so far in this, between this, these orbiting bodies here. And once we drop out of Super Cruise, I'm going to go to an outside view and we get an outside view of the landing. Or we could stay inside. The nice thing about staying inside is I think the you can hear the our pilot here, our taxi driver, uh, talk to air traffic control, you know, to space station control. So we can do both. We can wait till to see if they, they ask for permission to land. Because in Elite, in the, the regular Elite, not the Alpha, the, the smaller stations, they don't have a... It's like a real airfields in the real world. They don't, it's just a, if it's a small airfield, it might not have a control tower. You know, it's just like on a farm somewhere. Alright. So they don't answer the only... Alright. They do have a landing, they, I think they do have, maybe they added traffic control to small things too, or maybe it's just when it's the taxi driver. Well, let's take a look from the outside view anyway, okay. Well, it's going a bit straight in, you're gonna have to better flip around, man. Or per, uh, that's a, it's a woman, I think, right? <laughs> Fantastic. And we arrived. Thank you for coming with me in this uh, little journey here. We're at Fullerton Station. This is my first time in a smaller station in the in the uh, Elite Dangerous Alpha, Odyssey Alpha. Thank you very much. We're spinning into a position here before I can disembark. The Starship's gonna go back into the landing bay. A bit like an aircraft carrier, you know, like you you, you you don't steal a flight deck. Look at what's that over there. That's like some sort of a advert. It looks like some member of White Snake or Sepultura out there. Oh, it changed now. Okay. All right. Gravity, you no know, gravity, magnetic contact active. Did you hear that? So that's a little detail right there. You know, it might not seem like much, but they think about all this stuff. This station is a small one. It doesn't have a bunch of. There goes the shuttlecrafts leaving. The station is small and it doesn't have a, a like this rotating thing that, ge that generates the artificial gravity. So it's a zero G environment and they thought about that. So they they added a little sound clip there, uh, you know, no gravity, uh, magnetic boot or whatever, magnetic uh, something uh, active. All right, you got elevator music, of course. And here we are. Is there a bar here? I hope so. Okay, first things first, let's... Uh, I don't think I'll be able to complete the mission for here, but let's just... Uh, let's just take a look. I think I have to go back to the other place. Yeah, I can't complete the mission here. I have to go back to the place where the mission was given to complete it. Okay, it's a little bit of a odd uh, limitation, but there's probably reasons for it. Oh, there is a bar. I can hear the music, okay? So here is a view from the outside of the station. So if there's a player of a ship out there, be able to see it out the window, like in Star Citizen, that sort of stuff. Okay, we've got some more of a heavy rock vibe here on this particular bar. What can I get you, Commander? All right. a bit of a fallout type you know 1950s happy man there advertising the indie bourbon oh he sounds like he might need some help all right i'll take it but
Okay, let's tell him I'm in. I'll accept the mission. Hopefully this doesn't bug out my other mission, because now I'm going to go to the as a last thing on this tree. I'm going to... Oh, here's a player. This commander... Cover... Covery fire. Hello, commander. Should we try to go to... Oh, he's leaving. Should we try to... Uh, to contact him through voice messages? Let's see. Let's see if he will accept a voice message. He's all the way out here. Maybe he wouldn't. Yeah. Commander, covery fire. Hello? Alright. Nope. I'll cancel the voice request. We'll send a friend request just in case. And now let's uh, book a shuttle f to the where I want to complete my mission because I want those credits. Okay, after doing that, I want to. Today you can take me over to the penal colony where I woke up and I did that mission. Uh, it's over here. I believe uh, one up, one up. Okay, here. It's right here. That's where I got the mission, so I'm going back to the penal call. You know, it's not generally the, the place I would like to hang out in, but... Uh, thank you for choosing Apex Interstellar. Thank you, Miss Ashley. Off I go. Here's the Apex Interstellar. Eventually, you fly your own ship. I get in my ship and we get out of here, no, but... It's alpha Stage 1. You don't fly your ship. Look at those giant things. Those are the things you pick up with your cargo hold and uh, when you're flying your ship that I've done for many hours. I'd, I'm, I'm glad that at some point I think the, the elite uh, stopped tracking the hours you play or, or I don't know if I can probably still look at log files and stuff, but I probably still shouldn't see how many hours I've played this game be before in the past, uh, you know, seven years. Seven years now or eight years? I've been playing this game since like 2013, 2014, whatever that was the premium beta. And we're off. God, I wouldn't want to live there. You can see the, the outside of the ship was starting to glow red a little bit. So heat is modeled in these ships. Uh, if your ship is hot, uh, you're very visible to radar. But you can close those vents, you can go cold and you disappear off people's radars. But then the heat inside the ship starts getting hot. And eventually it starts breaking your hull and you know smoke starts coming out of systems. So there's all this stuff modeled too. I think they have to... You have to do more work of that because there's not enough you can do stealthy stuff but this is hey commander Xiao Quinn how are you new I think you need a fleet carrier <laughs> I would love to have a fleet carrier so are you playing the alpha how are you doing I would love to come meet you again I would love to go on a, on some ground missions with you this is gonna be fun I copy that I I can tell you what I'm thinking I'm uh I was very frustrated the last couple of days until I finally managed to complete a mission and buy a flight suit that gives me more adventure space and, and, and lets me hold my own a little bit. It's very hard still. Uh, by yourself against AI, the AI, AI is good, it's tough, but you can, with a better suit, you have more power that you can stay outside longer. You don't have to be searching for a, for a recharge power and carrying like a single recharge cell to recharge your suit while like the temperature is making your suit lose power really fast but with the new suit i'm enjoying it now and i can see a lot of potential for this and i'm hoping they're not telling us everything and there's going to be even more cool stuff that we don't know about they often do that i think but uh i'm hoping that it'll be extravehicular activities missions where you go out into deep space and you can leave your ship and you know uh go into a derelict abandoned ship it's a really nice atmosphere that uh, brings to mind for me the the alien movies the sound design the feeling the the sort of a little bit of claustrophobic feeling being inside the spacesuit when uh, 
out in the open it's a little bit of a of an aliens you know film uh, alien like the the second alien particularly the grinding credits just to make sure i have enough money for the odyssey <laughs> awesome well i'm sure you i because of you i have a lot of money for the odyssey you know so i am very excited to to play this together with you at some point i hope we can meet up in space sir Currently on my way to the Konskak Penal Colony to complete a mission. I have uh, it's gonna be the second or second mission I complete, I believe, or third maybe. I managed to turn on the power back at this hydroponics estate. And another cool thing about this suit that I managed to get was uh, this cutter thing, so you can go and you can cut through these these panels and then charge them up to open doors and stuff like that. And sometimes there's fire and to put it out, you have to disable the power. You have to depressurize a facility, but then it has all these other things that happen. So if you depressurize the facility, the people in there might, you know, pass out or die and maybe they don't want that to happen. So there's all these like, these settlement missions they're doing. There's all these interlocking mechanisms that you have to think about what you're gonna do and, and there's different ways to do it, and I, I, I imagine, you know, if you have more people, maybe someone can, do, I, I, I was in one earlier that, uh, I'm in open play here, so I was, I was in a system earlier that I was doing my own mission and then I saw this shuttle arriving and all of a sudden, like, uh, at least the power is in nuclear, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, the power, I, I don't know what kind of power it is, but, uh, it's, you have to put like some power capacitor into it. See, like this is this is the uh, this is the one I have uh, I had to do. I it doesn't tell me what I had to put into the thing, but it was like this power capacitor thing. But uh, yeah, so I, I was sneaking around and trying to sneak into this, find a way into this building, and then I saw another shuttle arrive, and there was another player. And then after a little while, all the, the alarms started ringing and started going red of those crazy like spinning like siren alarms. And then all the AI started running towards a different part of the base where I think the player was. So I just sneaked up and that was another way to, you know, get the, like another player without knowing helped me sneak through and and get through to, to where I was wanted to go because the other player just set off the AI, they all went a different direction, you know. But I think they have a lot of work to do, you know, they have a lot of debugging to do, but uh, I, I, I like the potential. I think this is a good step towards uh, towards uh, eventually landing on planets of atmospheres, finding trees, you know, finding clouds. <laughs> what do you think of nuclear power? Do you think... Uh, so, oh, sorry I had to log out completely and enter my private group to accept your request. Oh, it's the covery fire. No worries, dude. Someone, I just sent a friend request and this guy was kind enough to reply. That's very nice. Uh, how do I do direct messages again? Let's see. Inbox. Uh, direct message. No worries. Nice to meet you. I did have one uh, pe person kill me in the game, which was a bit surprising to me. It doesn't usually happen to me in the lead. Most people are nice, but... You know, maybe he was just testing things. He started punching me, and at first I thought he was just joking. And then I was almost dead, and so I started ho drawing my weapon, and he drew his weapon and shot me, you know, so that wasn't so nice. But as always, you can always, uh, you know, you can always play in a solo group if you don't want to deal with that stuff, or a private group of just your friends. A lot of commanders out there. We have the uh, Inker Link, View Slayer, Step Forward, Treya. I'm Commander Hypertext Hero in this alpha all right a lot of people out there look at that and check this out uh, i don't know if you noticed but you see anything different about these ships all right you have strobe lights you see those like those flashing lights and look you have like a starboard light green over there and port light red over there i think this is in all the ships not just in the taxi in this uh adder taxi they were flying in now. There I am. Hypertext Hero. And uh, the, the pilots do have names. I forget what the name of this one is. You know, randomly generated ones. But uh, more detail. Some more detail added to the ships too.
and the music in the bars like I was mentioning really nice you know we could, could jam play guitar to the music in the bars jam along what's that the planetary tech apparently is continuous being updated right now so it looks it can look a little weird it's like the ice cap in the end it just looked like a glitch but this is going to be continue we're going to be seeing changes to how the planets look during the alpha I don't know how long this is supposed to take. I think they want to launch it in spring, so I don't imagine more than a couple of months. Alright, returning to the penal colony where I got the mission to complete the mission. It's very cool looking adder. I like this logo too, pretty cool how they did it. So there's a bit more bump mapping, a little bit more detail on the ships. Apex, Zorgon Peterson, Apex. I don't know if the, those are, don't represent le uh, letters, I think. Whoa, alright. Conscac Penal Colony, here we come. You're going to hear our pilot, uh, our taxi driver here asking for permission to land probably. So we'll stay in the inside view for now. Shouldn't be too much longer now. Shouldn't be too much longer now. Uh, uh, Sean Connery flying us over here. Requesting the landing pad over. <laughs> I might jump into Valheim right after this, uh, about 10 minutes after this stream. Uh, Ziao, if you want to join with a good friend of mine, you're very welcome. Just let us know. And I'll send you the server password and everything. It's a North American server. Europeans are sleeping right now. And the server's down there for a while because uh, Sheep has taken it easy. He's a bit overworked. He said he has to take it easy a bit. Good to see you again, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Sh Sean Connery, you know, he, he left this world and he went to... He became a... Ta he, all he really wanted was to be a taxi driver a thousand years in the future. All right, back to the penal colony. I want to have a short time there and then I'm taking off. No worries, man. Thanks for dropping by. Very much appreciated. Uh, yeah, at some point, we'll, we'll meet again at some point. There is no pressure and never. Always a pleasure, Mr. Xiao. I hope you're having a good uh, end of your March and that your April is even better than your March. All right. All right, let's go to a terminal and try to complete this mission. I'll just go to this one right here. Here you go, complete missions. And there it is. And I get to choose my reward, I think. I want... I want all the money, baby. Let's go. And one, two, three. I'll give myself another applause. All right. Because completing missions in this thing is not a... Not easy, all right. Or is it? There it is. I put a little confetti here on the screen. <laughs> all right. Fantastic. I go back and look at that. And I have two hundred and five thousand credits. Excellent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to call this a stream here. Thanks for dropping by, y'all. Thanks for watching whoever's out there. I'll be back tomorrow morning. I'm uh, back to full-time time streaming now, so I'm going to do mornings, uh, afternoons, and probably often evens. Uh, have a good night, all right? I'm Hypertech Hero. Have a good time in or out of hyperspace. I'm out. <laughs>